as the umbrella, you might want to grab that too because that means rain. <laughs> yeah, and we saw a gorgeous Saturday and now this rain has been continuing pretty much all day today and it doesn't stop even heading into Monday. Looks to be a pretty soggy day ahead with even the potential for some minor flooding. So something to watch out for if you're going to be driving around. Our next weather makers again, we are tracking a large weather system that brings rainy conditions into Monday, but just for Monday. As we check out the rest of the week, it actually looks to be nice and dry with more and more sunshine. And on top of that, we're going to get rid of these fall like temperatures becoming warmer as we head towards the middle to end of this week. We'll be back into the mid to upper 70s, so nice and comfortable outside. Right now, we are tracking widespread rain. This is a live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service experts. Most of the rain is light, at least for now. As we head into tonight, we could see some more moderate to heavy pockets of rainfall as the center of this area of low pressure heads right into New York State. And that's going to continue that widespread rain overnight tonight and through Monday. Now, as we head into Tuesday and for the rest of the week, we'll have a nice area of high pressure head in. What this is going to bring is some drier air and eventually some warmer temperatures for the second half of the week. So for this rainfall that we're expecting the next couple of days, there is the threat for some flooding right through central New York, especially flood prone areas down in the cities and urban locations. We're expecting to get a decent amount of rainfall from now until Monday night and how much we can expect right through along the thruway. We could get about one to two inches of rainfall and that is enough to cause some minor flooding on the roadways and cause you to hydroplane when you're driving. So something to keep an eye out for. And again, you want that umbrella if you are going to be out and about. Now again, the rain is only here for Monday. If you're looking to do any yard work or anything outdoors, Tuesday and through the end of the week looks nice. We'll be nice and dry with more and more sun and some warmer temperatures as well. Let's check out the temperature trend for the next five days. It will be cool in the mid to upper 60s for Monday and Tuesday. It starts on Wednesday and through the weekend will be into the mid to upper 70s. Normally this time of year, we should only be in the mid 60s. So this is well above normal for October. Right now, we're sitting in the mid 60s with this widespread light rain. We are going to see some pockets of moderate to heavy rain overnight tonight, and that could cause some flooding issues, especially for the morning commute tomorrow. And through the day tomorrow, that rain continues, so make sure you have the umbrella before you head outside. We are going to see those cool temperatures again tomorrow as well, but as we check out your seven-day forecast, things warm up eventually. Mid-60s with mostly cloudy skies on Tuesday, then we're into the mid-70s on Wednesday, and even the upper 70s are looking out towards Friday, which is the official start of dart week before the chance for rain again returns on Saturday and Sunday. And make sure you head out to Dirt Week at Oswego Speedway.